All right, Shalom, Shalom. All GMS Louisiana Saints, the Lafayette Camp, coming back at you with a quick lesson. All right. Before we go any further, we're going to face the East and give infinite honors and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Harakakadash. Double honors to the Pastor Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well and are worthy of the double honors. Peace and blessing to you, Akim, pushing out this truth across the four corners during these last sections of time, man. And this quick hit is going to be entitled Two Thirds and Gain says, Keep that same energy when it's time, man. Keep that same energy when it's time for the Lord to start pouring out this major judgment that's shortly to come, man, and that's surely to come. All right, go ahead up. This is uh, Romans 10 and 17. It says, So then faith cometh by hearing. Right, faith cometh by hearing, man. You hear the word, like the scriptures tell you, make the vision plain upon the tables that he may read and run it, man. All right, so we hear this word and we gain faith from it, man. That's how we get faith, all right? By the words of this book, man. Faith is, according to Hebrews 11 and 1, the evidence of believing and not seeing, man. All right? We believe that America is going to be destroyed. We believe that our enemies, our gang set, the ones that gang set against us, you two-thirds of our people, uh, Esau, Edom, you heathen nations, we believe the Lord is going to destroy you and put you in your rightful place of slavery, man. All right? So there's nothing you can do, ultimately, to, to turn us away from this truth, man. If we be of that elect and Lord willing, we are. Go ahead, huh? It says, it says, by hearing, and by hearing by the word of the Lord, it says, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words into the ends of the world. Right, man, like Yahweh Shai said, this gospel should be preached into the ends of the earth, uh, and then shall the end come, man. All right? So the brother said, yes, verily, you have heard the word, man. All right, the sound went throughout wherever the elect is scattered throughout the four corners, man. You've heard this word, but guess what you didn't do? You didn't apply yourself. You didn't act on it. You didn't have faith, all right? You were a gainsayer. Everything that we came out on the highways and byways and did for the Lord, you wanted to oppose it, Jake. All right, and that's starting with our people, man, because when we go out on the highways and byways and we teach, we um, edify, all right, we upbraid. The main ones that come against us are you so-called Native Americans, Latinos, and Negroes. That's why the Lord said he's going to cut off two-thirds, all right? And the, and the, the rest, the one-third, the remnant, is going to be brought through the fire, man. So we will go through that fire ultimately get to get that inheritance, man. But you gain says keep that same energy when heads start rolling around, man. Keep that same energy when it, um, martial law is implemented, when you're getting thrown in that FEMA camp, man. Because although the men of the Lord are going to face... Um, persecuted persecutions all right we're going to be built up on our faith we're going to be built up on the beliefs of yahweh by shimmy man it's true you want to say something now? you got it uh, okay. you want me to continue uh -huh. uh, it says but i said uh did not israel know first moses said i will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people and by foolishness by foolish nation, I will anger you. That's right, man. Go ahead. It says, by. But a size, a size. Go ahead. By a, but a size, uh, is very bold and said, I will find. I, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. That's right, man. Because ultimately, who doesn't get it and who does get it is up to the Lord, man. If you're a gainsayer and you're on the other side, like they got a, a whole thing going on in this uh, so-called rap industry where they like pick a side. Either you're on this side of the beef or that side of the beef. But well, we want to be on the right-hand side of the Lord, man. So we've chose our side. And how do we display that we've chosen our side? All right? We're doing this right here, man. All right? We're on the highways and byways. We're reverencing the name of the Lord, man. We're putting that above anything. We're worshiping these high holy days, man. All right? We're just coming off of the Passat and... After the Passover, what? The Lord wreaks havoc out in judgment, man. So, yeah, it may seem like, oh, it's just peace, calm, and tranquility, and uh, and um, the birds are chirping, the sun is out. But, man, this place is headed toward uh, ultimate bitter end, man. You got it, bro. Yeah. Like you say something? Go ahead, brother. Uh, like the brother said, man, it, it seemed like every Because the last we saw, all right, uh, last year, all right, what happened after that, man? All right, the pandemic, all right? 2020. Uh, 2020, mm -hmm. you like it. You, all right, the, uh, uh, you had, uh, uh, you know, the pandemic, all right, the lockdowns, and so forth and so on, and then 
ever since then it's just continuously been a, a, a spiral here or down man all right now we in the midst of uh hearing rumors of wars all right we uh we seeing um you know uh uh, uh russia and, and and america uh with, with uh, trade wars and different things like that man so things are going to continue to escalate all right uh and the Lord's going to continue to judge this place man with plagues that's right uh, hey i got your precept backing you up after you read that last verse, go ahead. It says, but but to Israel, he said, all day all day long, I have stretched forth my hand unto all disobedient and rather gainsaying, pe gainsaying people. That's right, man. But to Israel, said, all day long, I have stretched forth because because the Lord, He's stretching forth His hand, His mercy, man. The Lord is showing you. Look, I'm having. I will have mercy upon Israel. I will yet choose Jacob, man. By doing what? Setting up the prophets on the highways and byways, across the four corners of the earth. They're coming on the same accord. They're coming in the name of the Lord. So that's the Lord showing his mercy, man. He's stretching out his hands. But then it says what? All day long I've stretched forth my hands because we come out in season and out of season, man. No matter if it's cool to be on the highways and byways and when it's not cool, man. No matter if it's raining, if it's snowy, no matter what it is, man, we get the word and we push the word, man. All right? It says... I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people, man. Because our people are gainsayers, man. They love to oppose. They love to combat. But they're combating our righteousness of the scriptures, the holy words of the Bible, with their wicked, vain opinions, man. Jeremiah tells you what. The heart is desperately wicked, man. Your mind is desperately wicked. Your mind will tell you all types of things. Your mind will have you opposing what's actually good for you, man. Satan will come in and do what? Put those thoughts in your head, play on your top to try to sift you out, man. But it's ultimately the Lord using him to do what? Determine who's the righteous, who's written in the book of life, and who's going to be the multitude that perished in vain. And I got that word gain saying real quick. If I could bring it out, I, I know you got one. All right, this is that word gain saying. Because the title of this video. Auntie Lego. Auntie Lego. Right, because the title of this video is what? Two thirds and gain says keep that same energy when it's time, man. All right, this is gain saying, gain saying it says to speak against, to contradict, to oppose oneself to one, to decline to obey him. And how do you decline to obey the Lord, man? You don't hearken unto the words that the prophets are out on the highways and byways proclaiming. Man. You rather you rather scroll down your timeline and subscribe to all these uh these different bloggers that are pushing different agendas all right that are uh, having these little uh whole shows talking about just nothing just vanity man you don't want to hear words of truth all right whether it be what bitter whether it be sweet because you got to eat the whole roll man yeah it's sweet you know that what ultimately the elect israel is going to be saved but then it gets bitter because you know you might have to become a martyr for this thing you know that what the lord has only brought us in to what test us and try us to make us better man and, and uh purify us man it says to declare oneself against him to refuse to have anything to do with him and you people see us on the highways and byways and you see us as what just uh lifeless clowns what you say bombs power rangers all right it says refuse to have anything to do with him they don't want to have anything to do with the men that are on the highways and byways that's, that's why they try to demonize us that's why they uh, put out rumors, scoff against us. That's why you're called a gainsayer, man. Because you oppose yourself. And who's the ultimate gainsayer that oppose himself and exalt himself as the most high? Esau, Edom, man. And pertaining to the book of John, you are of your father the devil. It says to dispute, to deny, to speak against. Right? And you're the same ones when Yahweh Shai said, I will behold all those that pierce me. You, you, you two-thirds of Israel are the same Jakes, all right, back in Roman persecution. That was spitting on your Howard shot, offering him up, slandering him. All right, go ahead, brother. I got one. Go ahead, you got it, brother. This is uh, this is John 15 and 19. It says, "If ye were of the world, the world would love you. The world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you." The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Mm -hmm. If they have kept my sayings, 
they will keep yours also. But all those, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they have not, they have not known them that sent me. That's right. All yeah. right. So basically, the world, the world is not going to accept us, man. All right. The world is not going to accept the, the, the men of the Lord, man. All right, they're gonna they're gonna despise us like the brother was bringing out the definition. All right, they're gonna cast our name out. Yep. All right, they're gonna look at us and scoff. All right, mm -hmm. because our, our message is that <laughs> this place is gonna be destroyed. Oh, all right? that's a beautiful point because how we look at the world, how we look at two thirds of our people, we look at them as vile beasts, like the scriptures speak of them. That man is as a beast that perish. All right, that's how they look at this truth. They look at this as being vile. They look at this as being wicked, man. Disgusting. Yeah, man. That's why you gainsay. That's why you have a dispute against this. Everything to say against this truth, but nothing for it. But the scriptures tell you, you can do nothing against the truth, but for it, man. So what does the prophet again say when you come up speaking all type of madness, spewing the words out of your emotional heart, your emotional mind? When hell is breaking loose around us, man, how is that going to get us out of the situation and the predicament we are in as a nation, man? You gotta be upbraiding the people. You gotta be a rebuking, man. You have to stand for something, man. Or you'll fall for anything. And this is backing you up. This is the one I was uh, holding for you out because you made a good point about all the judgment that's going on. These people are in la la land, but the evils are steady increasing. Judgment is steady going out, man, until it just be poured out, man. All right? The angels, when, when it tells you um, the angels are holding back. The four winds, they're not holding it back for you two-third niggas, man. They're holding it back for the elect, man. The righteous men, the men, that, the remnant that were uh, predestined to get this truth. This is 2nd Edges chapter 16, verse 18. I'm going to start at 17. You got it now. It says, woe is me, woe is me who would deliver me in those days. The beginning of sorrow and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come that's right man what shall i do when those evils shall come man all right that's for two-thirds of the nation of israel man all right that's what those judgments are for all right the gainsayers the people that are coming up and you know scoffing or drive by drive by in their cars all right with their ugly looks Ooh. all right uh so what what are they doing what are they wearing you know so forth and so on you know, that's what that scripture is talking about. That's who that's for, man. Yeah, all man. Right? When Ezra saw this, he was literally saying, man, what was me in that day, man? He yeah. saw all the destruction. He saw all the, uh, the tribulation, Jacob's trouble, man. All the all the unbearable sightings, man. The blood that was being shed, man. All right. It says, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment that's right scourges for amendment man. change all right man ultimately those scourges that tribulation is going to shake this place up and ultimately destroy it man amendment goes into something that's altered or changed man all right so these scourges are sent out for the wicked to do what put you back in that right mind all right put you back in that state of mind where you reverence in the lord and ultimately it's going to be through what great death all right, famine, tribulation, pestilence. Those are the scourges, man. It says, but for all these things, you better put it. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. That's right, man. For all these things, they will not turn from their wickedness, man. And you see that right now, man. All right, with the Lord judging the way the, the, way the Lord is judging the world right now. All right. They still not turning from their wickedness because they're not still considering that the Lord is doing these things upon the earth. That's right. When it obviously says that what the world will be going on and, and how to measure the times in the last days. That's right. All right. But they still continue to what? All yeah, right. They yeah. still they still continue to, uh, uh, you know, uh, follow follow these uh, holidays, these pagan holidays. All right. St. Patrick's Day was what? Uh, I don't know. Yesterday or something like that. Yeah. All right. All these other things like that, man. All right. These are the things uh, uh, that, that that's gonna get you killed out here, man. All right, for following uh, the ways of Babylon, man. That's right, right, man. And you're not gonna be able to say, oh, well, we didn't, 
we we didn't hear this word, we didn't hear this truth, man. Whether you passed us up on the highways and byways, whether you went through a YouTube clip and just exit out of it, all right. Whether you um came up to the men of the Lord on the highways and just walked the other way, or bust a U-turn, man, or just did a drive-by shalom, man. That's not sincere, man. You got to put your foot to the plow, man. You have to present your body as a living sacrifice, man. All right, I got one for you. Right? This is Luke 21, and I'm going to start at verse 15. For I will give you, a, this is Yahweh Shai, um speaking, man. It says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. That's right. I will give you a mouth that our, our adversaries cannot gainsay nor resist, man. All right, and 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 now, all right. If you pay attention to these so-called truthers, these uh, these so-called uh, Christians, all right. Now they're going into prophecies. Now they're going into these uh, different things that the Israelites have been always going into, man. Starting from our elders and our apostles, on down to the least of us, man. All right, and they and they've taken it their own knowledge and put a twist on it, man. All right. That's right. It says, and ye. Verse 16, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. That's right, man, because your, uh, your family, all right, uh, the people that you uh, that you know in the world, they're going to turn on you, man, all right? These are the only, the, the only people that you really have that's, that's a really support system around you is really the brotherhood, man, to be honest with you. That's All right. right. Any, but anything, else, anything else outside of this, bro? These people are gonna eat each other, man. All right. Kind of uh, uh, like that movie, uh, Batman. All right. When, when, um, when, uh, when Joker was sitting down in the interrog in the interrogation room, he was sitting down and he said, uh, you know, these civilized people, when you know uh, uh, they lo basically lose everything, uh, they're gonna eat each other, man. All right. They're gonna they're gonna devour each other, man. All right, and that's according to the scriptures, man. All right, but we have stability, all right, because we have the knowledge that the Lord has given us, which is these scriptures. All right? Yeah, that's right, man. Just like in the siege of Masada, man, like around 73 AD, you had what? The same thing going on, man. Hell, breaking loose, people eating each other. All right, the scriptures speak of all this, man. So it's gonna be it's gonna be 70 AD on steroids. It's gonna be the Book of Acts on steroids, man. All right. Uh, upgraded version of it, man, because the scriptures tell you this is going to be the worst time that's ever been to the planet of Earth, and it's going to be the last time, all right? So after Jacob's trouble, this is it, man. But ultimately, this this hell and this judgment isn't for the men of the Lord, man, the elect, if we be of that number. That's why we're laboring for this truth, man. That's why we're working hard to get towards that reward, all right? It says... Verse 17, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not an hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls, man. That's right. So all through all these things that are going on around us, man, like the book of Job says, uh, troubles on each side, man. All right. None of these things shall come against us, man. Shall harm us, man. So what do we ought to do? Should we keep moving in our protection? This is our protection right here, man. We're moving in our protection, man. We're pushing and pushing forward, all right, in our insurance policy, which is these scriptures, man. This is what we have to cover us if we get in an accident, if we get in a spiritual, have a spiritual bump in the road, man. All right? Or, or come against a, a, a stumbling block, man. We have this to rely upon, man. So you two-thirds keep that same energy when the time of judgment comes, man. That was it, you got it, you got it. Uh, let's see. Oh uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, I got a quick one. I got a quick one. This yeah. Titus 1 and 9, it says, But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught, because this word is faithful, man. This word doesn't cheat on us, man. This word always stays by our side if we pursue it, if we keep it, man. You have to keep up a relationship with these scriptures, man. 
you can't go absent because when you go absent in a relate like just like a relationship in this world when you go absent or you're not communicating then what you you have a breakup all right it says holding fast the faithful word as ye have been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine these scriptures both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. That's right, man. You so and what the brother was speaking of, you so-called uh Israelites that know the name of the Lord, right? Or calling upon the name of the Lord, but the following the doctrine, man. The scriptures tell you to keep stay far away from them, man. Coming and saying, well, oh, a Passover is a high holy day, but we're gonna have it at a strip club. We're gonna have a wrestling match in it, man. Come on, man. You a gainsayer, man. So keep that same energy when you've done that despicable act towards the Lord in the sight of the Lord when he comes and judge you for it, man. In a worse way. All right? You got it, huh? Also, like, yeah, a little bit more. It says, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. That's right, man. For filthy lucre's sake, man. Trying to put an LLC on this truth, man. It's a brute thing. Hebrews LLC, man. That's filthy lucre's sake, man. Having a uh, a, 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 a GoFundMe for your uh, for your filthy deeds that you're doing at Passover, man. Oh, oh, Eventbrite. Ticket, ticket master. Go get a ticket for Passover. What type of blasphemy is that, man? You're going to get judged for that, man. So keep that same energy that you came and exalted yourself against the men of the Lord with, man. Keep that same game saying energy, man. You got it, huh? All right, this is uh, Sirach 2 and 8. It says, uh, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. It says, Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Or did ever any abound in his fear and was forsaken. That's right. Of whom did he ever despise that called upon him all right so you know us all right that's doing the will of the lord the correct way man all right the lord is isn't going to forsake us because we we haven't despised him in any type of way we haven't disrespected him all right we, we, we ain't doing the same things that these other camps are doing like you said out all right uh going to a strip club or having wrestling matches or whatever the case whatever folly jake be doing all right, for the Passover, man. All right, the Lord said that he's going to look upon the things that we've done righteously, all right? And through that, he's going to show us mercy, man. All right? That's, that's, that's why we're coming out here and we're doing these videos because we're, 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 uh, we're fixing up that spiritual bank account, man. So that way we'll cash out whenever Jacob's trouble come, man, all the way up until we, uh, hopefully getting delivered. That's great. Right? Second Ezra 5 and 23 And said, O Lord, that bears rule of every wood of the earth And of all the trees thereof Thou hast chosen thee one only vine, Israel And of all the lands of the whole earth Thou hast chosen thee one pit And of all the flowers thereof, one lily And of all the depths of the sea Thou hast filled thee one river And of all builded cities Thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself and of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. Right? Because in 2nd Ezra 6 chapter, it tells you what? This, um, the world to come is for few, man. All right? From Adam, we come in all, even the nation who the Lord has chose, which is Israel, man. It says... And among all the multitudes of people thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. And now, O Lord, why hast thou given this one people over unto many? And upon the one root hast thou prepared others? And why hast thou scattered thy one only people among many? Because right now, we're scattered across the four corners, but according to Ezekiel 36 and 24, wherever the Lord scattered us, he's going to gather us, man. We're here in the neck of the enemy, man. Judah and Israel shall be oppressed together, man. All right? 
the southern and the northern kingdom are under heavy persecution and captivity right now, man. But guess what the Lord is going to say? It says, and why has thou scattered thy only one people among many? And they which did gainsay thy promises and believe not thy covenants have trodden them down. That's right, man. Those, you, you, so you have other heathen nations ruling over you Israelites, forsaking the covenant, right? Gainsaying, and you're acting on that same accord, man. You're becoming just that, Jake. All right? You're coming, you're coming up against the truth and opposing it with all your might. And here we are, we're upholding the truth with all our might, man. We're giving it, we're giving this all our energy, but you're giving it all the left hand energy, man. So keep that same energy, Jay. You got it up. Do you have one? Hey, but Lord willing, this message was edifying. This was a quick lesson. We're gonna turn face to east and give infinite honors and praises to Yahweh by Shem. Yahweh Shah by Shem Harakakdash. Double honors to the positive great millstone who rule well and teach well and are worthy of the double honors. Peace and blessing to you, Akim, pushing out the truth across the four corners during these last six of time. Kwame Yasha Allah. Kwame Yasha Allah. Baba Bob. Baba Bob. Shalom. Shalom. Till next time, Akim.